Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Very interesting, Virgo. Your overall energy is the Four of Pentacles. So it looks like you're hanging on to something. This could be about letting it go because you do have the Eight of Cups here. Very similar to Taurus because the Eight of Cups is, came out actually with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus got that too. You have the Chariot, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Hmm. So some of you are making the decision to move forward. Now, this could be actually moving, physically moving, moving forward just with whatever your heart is speaking to you at the moment, whether this is... Um, a love relationship, whether this is just moving locations or a job decision, okay? You've been taking your time, but I also, I feel like you've been taking your time letting whatever it is you're letting go, go. I feel like it is a love relationship, something from the past. And you're like, it's time, and it is. So tell me about the Four of Pentacles, the lovers. Yep. Oh, the Ten of Wands and the King of Cups. Yep. So this has been this has been such a burden on your back. Okay? Now this could be about making a decision between two. You do have the two of pentacles, right? So we have the lovers and the king of cups. The king of cups could be one of these people, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's get a kipper and see what this is about. Hmm. You're thinking. You are thinking about this. You don't know what to do. Well, let's see. What's Virgo going to do? The chariot. We have the Hermit. What else? So you, you're going to be doing you. You're going to be doing the Hermit here, Virgo. The Hanged Man. Hmm. Let me get one more and then we'll get a Kipper. The Queen of Wands. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you're going to be going within. You're going to be looking at this situation from a different perspective, and you're going to decide to move forward because you want to manifest the love relationship. You want to manifest, you know, the real deal here. You want to build something real. So you're done playing with two. That's what I'm getting. You're done thinking. You're done thinking. I, I feel like you're over thinking. <laughs> Too much thinking official person this is like you're making that final decision to build 22 is a building number it is a master number of building all right let's talk about the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles nine of pentacles the nine of cups strength and the sacred heart Yeah, you're looking at your worth, you're looking at your desires, you're looking at your heart, and you're trying to be strong in making this decision here. Because you want to make a balanced decision, you want to make sure that your heart's in it, you want to make sure that you're 
it's like your body, mind, and soul is balanced and in. And it's speaking and calling to your heart. Okay. Get a kippa. Marriage. Yeah, I told you, you're in it for the long term. You want the end all be all. That's what you want. All right. So let's talk about the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. It could be between a King of Swords and a King of, yep, Ace of Cups. It's between a King of Swords and a King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you choose the King of Swords. The Page of Cups. Okay. <laughs> That's not surprising because you're ruled by Mercury and communication is important. King of Cups, I mean, King of uh, Swords is very mercurial, right? It's an air sign. So you're seeing happiness. You're seeing abundance here. You're seeing commitment, possibly marriage. So you're going to be opening up your heart to this person and really like charging into this new love relationship and giving it your all here. change yep you I, you know what i'm noticing you got a lot of nines here virgo you have the nine of uh pentacles you've got the hermit you've got the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles so nine may be an important number for you all right so let's clarify the two of pentacles and the nine of cups i'm curious oh, the high priestess temperance you know and it's funny i was just clarifying the one you know the king of swords and i'm thinking did virgo tell them about each other or is this just something that you know you're dating and you decide to commit maybe they both want to commit long term at the same time so clarifying the eight of cups and the two of pentacles is the high priestess is the emperor and temperance Yeah, I don't know. Some of you may have, may have not told them, which is fine. But I'm also feeling, I mean, you could have told them, and this is just saying that you're looking within and you're really, mm, I, I feel like you're looking at them with almost a side eye, like, hmm, are you hiding anything, right? And finding balance with the temperance card and figuring out who you want to manifest and moving forward with the emperor and this king of swords is the emperor but i'm also feeling you're in that position when you make this decision you're you're deciding i'm moving forward you don't make this overnight this decision this decision doesn't come to you overnight see despair this is you know be careful you're not overthinking because, yeah, it could interfere with your health here and really prolong the decision, right? Okay. Distant horizons. Okay. So you're being patient because you know that you want to look at all different perspectives. You want to look at all different aspects here, Virgo. All right. So, oh, let's get advice for Virgo advice ace of pentacles take the opportunity page of pentacles and seven of wands the determined otter you've got to know there's something bright beyond what you can see there's something for you beyond what you can see there's a trust factor i'm feeling with the seven of wands you've got to make this decision decision and trust take the opportunity to move forward trust that you're doing the right thing listening to your intuition here virgo all right let's get an oracle oracle let's see. virgo intuitive nudges oh my gosh intuition is the language of the soul 
we are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirits. True that. And let's get an angel number. Trust your intuition. Okay, and it's nudging. Look at the orbs. They're crazy. I, in this house, Virgo, they are insane. Uh, 29, I am insightful. 29 is an 11, which is the psychic number and a twin flame number. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the from out of the sky a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things yes you are so virgo i hope that resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested virgo as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell. Have a wonderful day and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.